Good day, Grade 3 scientists! Welcome to our lesson for Science 3, Quarter 1, Week 4. Objectives By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to Number 1. Describe objects that are stretchable. Number 2. Identify objects that are stretchable. Recall the definition of shiny objects. Number 1. What shiny objects did you see on the way to school? Number 2. Where do you use them and what do you use them for? Let's group the following object. Tell whether it is hard, shiny, or stretchable. Popsicle stick, rubber band, spoon, eraser, foil, and balloon. Here are the correct answers. Here are the questions. Number one, where do you use rubber bands in your daily life? Number two, have you ever played the game 1020? Number three, can you explain what objects are used in the game 1020 and what you do with them? Number four, how do you think stretchable objects like rubber bands are used in the game. Stretchable Stretchable means able to be folded or extended without breaking. It describes a material or object that can be stretched or made longer or wider. In Tagalog, naiunat o nababanat. Maaring hatakin o pahabain ng hindi agad nasisira. Here are the examples of stretchable materials or object. Rubber band. The rubber band is stretchable because it can become longer when pulled. Balloon. The balloon is stretchable when air is blown into it. Spandex shorts. These are stretchable and can fit many body sizes. Stiff. Stiff means hard to bend or move. Example, the cardboard is stiff. You cannot fold it easily. After playing all day, my legs felt stiff. It's the opposite of soft, flexible, or stretchable. For our activity, Activity 4, What objects become longer when fold? We must remember to answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the title of the activity? Number 2. What are the materials needed for the activity? And number 3. What do they need to find out during the activity? The materials needed. Ruler, rubber band, balloon, and popsicle stick. Procedure number one. Place the ruler flat on the table. Position the rubber band directly on the ruler. Number two. Use the ruler to measure the length of the rubber band. Write the length in your answer sheet without stretching the rubber band. Number three. Gently pinch one end of the rubber band and slowly pull the opposite end without causing it to snap. Using the ruler, check the length of the rubber band during the pull and write it in your answer sheet. Number 4. Repeat the same process with the balloon and popsicle stick. Number 5. From the result, classify the objects as stretchable or not. And number 6. After all groups have finished, come together as a class to discuss their findings. Encourage students to explain why they classified each object as stretchable or not based on their observation.
for developing understanding of the key idea or stem? Here are the following questions. Which of the three items change in length when full? Number two, which of the three items did not change in length when pulled? And number three, which are stretchable and which are not? Compare the objects that change their length after pulling. Answer the following questions. Number one, what was the length of the rubber band before pulling? Number two, what was the length of the rubber band during the pull? Number three, what was the difference in the length of the rubber band before and during the pull? Number four, what was the length of the balloon before pulling? Number five, what was the length of the balloon during the pull? Number 6. What was the difference in the length of the balloon before and during the pull? 7. Which of the two had a longer stretch? And number 8. Which, which is more stretchable? Let's complete the table. Describe the following objects and tell if the objects are stretchable or stiff. Here are the answers. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, and have fun. See you next time!